everyone. My name is Misty Fiello. I just got back from a training run. I am currently training to run the Rock and Roll Half Marathon in New Orleans this February 6th. My personal best half marathon time I ran in December at a time of two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours and 15 minutes is the average time among all half marathon runners. I am very proud to call myself an average runner. A little over six years ago, I had a pacemaker implanted for complete heart block. It was most likely congenital. I just didn't know that I had it. And it caught up to me later in life. It was a long, hard road to get to where I could call myself an average runner. What I'm hoping to do with this video is kind of um, share my story and my experience so that hopefully I can encourage some people who are overcoming something similar to not give up when they are trying to get back into running. It took me two years after my surgery to actually get to where I ran even just a little bit uh, because I would, I would always go out too hard. And if you're going to YouTube and going to the internet and trying to find a way to start a running program and you're Googling like couch to 5K or you're watching fitness influencers and you're seeing somebody scoff at a nine minute mile or somebody you know, scoffing at a 45 minute 5K time, it can be very discouraging. So what I hope to do is share with you, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, how my week of training this week is structured. I'm um, um, I think about three weeks out from race day and I'm gonna show you how I wish I had, I really like the, the template I have now for the way I structure my, my workouts each week. And I'm gonna show you how I wish I had structured my workouts when I was first getting back into running after my pacemaker implant. Okay, so this is what this week of training looks like for me. On Monday, I ran a one mile warm up. That was kind of a jog slash walk warm up. Then I did two by one mile repeats. I tried to run that at my goal half marathon pace or better. And then I did a one mile cool down. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I do GRIT. GRIT stands for group resistance interval training. Um, this is a good example of how you just, you structure your workouts so they fit into your, your lifestyle. I am very busy. Uh, I, I, I work full time and I also have two little boys and those little boys go to um, jujitsu practice on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The gym that I go to has a class, it's called GRIT, and um, it's kind of like strength training with endurance and uh that is given as a courtesy to the parents who take their their kids to the gym um there's a small fee but it's really affordable kind of as a as a courtesy to the parents that take their kids to learn jujitsu at that gym it's really awesome and um actually this tuesday i had to change it up a little bit because my kids haven't been feeling well it's pretty rare for them to miss jujitsu but they weren't feeling great so they skipped on Tuesday and I did a strength training routine for about an hour just with some free rate weights in my living room. Then on Wednesday, that was today, I did a one mile warm up jog, a three mile tempo. Tempo is a run that's not exactly an easy pace, but it's not exactly a sprint either. You're kind of running at a nice, comfortably hard pace. And I just do that based on how I'm feeling that day, not with any goal pace. And then I did a one mile cool down. Then grit like I talked about on Thursday and Friday. And then on Saturday, I'm gonna run a 12, 12 mile long run. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'd like to make the end of that run a fast finish. We'll, we'll just see. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do 20 minutes of yoga and then probably a recovery run, run about 20 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm not feeling up to the run, then I might do uh, 20 minutes on a stationary bike. Now, if you're just getting started, then I suggest rather than working in miles, that you work in minutes. On Monday, you'll do a five minute warm up, do a walk, then you'll do two by one minute repeats. So what you'll do is you'll jog for a minute, 
And then you'll walk and let your heart rate recover. So where you're not breathing heavy anymore and you feel like your heart beats kind of come back to normal. And then you'll do another one minute jog. And then after that, you'll do a five minute walk cool down. <clears throat> On Tuesday, I don't, ex I don't suggest that you go straight into a class like grit or you go straight into you know, hard strength training. What I suggest you do is maybe 20 minutes of yoga on Tuesday. If you're looking for a good resource, you can uh, go to YouTube and use Yoga with Adrian. She has a lot of a lot of good videos. You can even uh, she has some pre-run pre-run yoga or some yoga for runners that would be really good for this day. And then on Wednesday, instead of doing my tempo workout, you'll do a five-minute walk warm up, a two-minute jog, and a five-minute cool down. And then on Thursday, you'll do yoga again. And then on Friday, you'll rest. When you're first starting out, I suggest that you do two rest days a week. And then on Saturday, you're gonna do a 10 minute walk slash jog. You're gonna go easy on yourself on this day. Remember, you're just getting started. So even if you have to walk that those whole 10 minutes, that is, you're still getting move, moving for 10 minutes. So you're gonna be proud of yourself, no matter what happens on this this Saturday. And then on Sunday, like I said, it's going to be another rest day. One thing you are absolutely not going to do, you are going to start calling yourself a beginner athlete. So you are not going to say, I can't do this and you're not going to give up. So it is entirely possible that you're going to go out with the, the week that I structured for you. <clears throat> okay. Here's my plan for the week. You're gonna go out on Monday, I'm gonna do a five minute walk, and then I'm gonna do two by one minute repeats. It's entirely possible that you're gonna to struggle to do it. And you're gonna say, oh, this is so hard. I, I, can't, I can't do this. You're not gonna do that. You're just gonna keep at it, even if you just walk that day. You're gonna walk for that day, and then you're gonna say, next Monday, I'm gonna give it another try. And you're gonna keep at it, and keep at it, and keep at it, until you have successfully completed a week like the one that I have structured. It might take you three, four, five weeks before you, you say, I feel good about this, I'm good, I can complete this week, and then you're gonna move on. And when you move on, this is what you're gonna do. The next week, when you do your minute repeats, you're gonna increase by 30 seconds. So after your warm up, you're gonna do a one minute and 30 second jog. Then you're gonna let your heart rate recover and you're gonna do another one minute and 30 second jog. And then you're gonna do your five minute walk cool down. Tuesday, you're gonna do yoga just like you did the previous week. And then on Wednesday, you're gonna do your five minute walk warm up. You're gonna increase your jog by one minute. So instead of jogging for two minutes, you're gonna jog for three minutes. And then you're going to do a five minute walk, cool down yoga on Thursday, rest on Friday. And then when you get to Saturday, you're going to make your 10 minute walk slash jog, a 12 minute walk slash jog. You're going to increase it by two minutes and then you're going to rest on Sunday. Same thing the next week. Once you get to where you feel good about this week, you're going to increase and do two minute repeats, yoga, uh, jog for four minutes, yoga, rest day, you'll do a walk slash jog for 13 or 14 minutes. You don't have to go up to 14 if you don't feel ready. And then you'll rest on Sunday. I think you can probably hear in the background that my son is feeling a little better. Uh, so I hope that this gave you some inspiration on how you can get started back into a running routine if you've had an illness or you've had some reason why you haven't been able to work out for a while. Uh, and remember, when you're going through this to go easy on yourself, we're not doing a couch to 5K program. In my case, I was doing a I almost died to 5K program. So remember, going easy on yourself doesn't mean that you allow yourself to give up or you allow yourself to quit or you ever say that I can't. It just means that you let yourself be where you're at on that particular day and you just keep working toward being better little by little by little. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember how lucky you are.